These are the first eight Premier League games last season. It was a slow start for them, we know, and we know they turned it all around. But surely, with what we've seen so far, and I know you can't draw too many judgments, they can't afford a slow start this season, Craig. Uh, well, maybe they can, who knows? Because I remember chatting to, to I'm not going to name them, somebody said, <laughs> who's going to put a run together? And I said, City, last year. And, and because they were by far, on paper, the strongest team. But it's not ideal. And, that, and they were poor yesterday. And he's got, listen, he has a striker. Gabriel Jesus, he just doesn't particularly like him as a guy who's going to lead the line for him. He shoves him on as a sub and he puts him out wide, but he, but he has a striker. I think he's got other concerns. I don't think Mendy... I think Mendy's a weak link at left-back. I don't think he'll play much. Uh, I think Grealish is going to be an interesting one for that money. What's the, you know, what's the deal in going around getting... And I know it wasn't his fault, but once again, he was fouled umpteen times. Mm. But it's all about end product for him. It's, and maybe the fact that he is getting fouled is the fact that at Aston Villa, he's holding on to the ball a little bit, two, three, two touches, three touches, four touches, five touches. And he's going to have to get into the habit, I think, at City of moving the ball quicker. One, because that's the way they play. And two, to try and stop all these fouls that, that, that the referees will have to look at, for sure. But I remember Riyad Mahrez when he went there. Yeah. And it was touch after touch after touch. And I think Guardiola said to him, listen, that's not, not the way we, this is not Leicester. You know, this is not the way we do it here. So I think it's not the only issue on yesterday's performance, the striking position, but I think it's one of them. They paid a lot of money for Grealish, Shaka. What did you make of his performance yesterday? Um, I, I, I'm with Craig on, on, on this. Um, kind of played, as, as you saw him play for, for Villa uh, at, at times for England. And it, it's, it won't work for City. Not, not the way they play and not the talent that, that he has around him. But as Craig rightly points out, Riyad Mahrez, same issue, and look how well that worked out for them in the end. Um, for, for, for City, the big concern is, I, I thought they started well. And, and maybe had they got that early goal, we are having a different discussion. But from the time Spurs settled in to, to that game and, and the threat that City, City posed, after 25 minutes, I, I never really felt that Hugo Lloris was, was under any kind of trouble. On the other side of that same coin, Spurs on, on the counter-attack with the pace that they had with Lucas Moura and, and, and Hyung-Min Son were frightening to City. And, and you, you always felt that that goal was going to come. You felt if anybody was going to score again, it, it, it would be Spurs. And, and that, for me, is a big concern for City. How do you play up against Spurs? Without that out-and-out -out striker, how can you again get round the back of a well-organised, well-manned defence? Because Spurs, not that they camped out, not that they parked the bus, they just knew what they were doing and had the players to, to keep City at bay. And they struggled. They, they, I, I thought they struggled for ideas, for large spells of that game. And, and, and that's, a, that's a concern. It has to be. Especially, and, and Spurs, Spurs failed to score in four games last season. Two of those against Manchester United, one against Spurs. One game down, already you play 70 minutes without threatening that much, outside the opening 20, I mean. That, that is something that, obviously, Pep Guardiola is trying to address with Harry Kane. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.